So here we're going to discuss a video of an approach into Win Airport. Everything went correctly, so we'll have a look at how everything was done. So at the moment we are at 63 miles, almost passing Vladafall 180. So let's do a profile calculation for 60 miles. So we multiply 60 times 3, which gives us fly level 180 and because we're doing 300 knots we have to fly 3000 feet lower so that makes fly level 150. Now you can already see that that's not going to work where we still have two miles to go and now one mile to go and we are uh, we still have 3000 feet to go and uh, we can already see that we are above profile there are 60 miles exactly and we are definitely above profile because we should be at fly level 150 now there are two ways to fix this at this moment we can increase the speed in open descents like we're doing here or we can apply the speed brake normally increasing the speed using open descent works best if you are a little bit further away maybe 80 miles but it can still uh, work a little bit here so we're going to increase the speed in open descent and that should uh, create some more drag. This takes time though. Um, we will prepare now for our next profile calculation which will be at 50 miles so 50 times 3 so that's fly level 150 then we will be doing 300 knots when we're passing 50 miles so fly level 150 minus 3000 feet is fly level 120 so at 50 miles we should be at fly level 120 if we're higher than that that means that we are above profile and probably by the time we should apply the speed brake so let's skip ahead a bit so here's 51 miles and there's 50 miles so you can see that we are still a little bit too high it's it's not that bad but we're also not ex exactly 300 knots we're a bit faster so we're definitely a bit high on profile okay now next we are going to approach uh, flight level 100 where we have to start slowing down so we don't have so much margin left using the method of increasing the speed uh, using open descent so um, let's skip ahead a bit and then we'll see what we're doing here okay so now we're approaching fly level 100 where we have to slow down to 250 knots and if I skip ahead a bit more you will see that uh, as we approach fly level 100 we're, we're still quite fast because we are descending at a higher speed than normal now you don't want to bust the speed limitation at fly level 100 so what i do here is um, applying vs zero that forces the aircraft to fly level and allows the speed to reduce now what's very common is that the aircraft still descends a little bit even though you put fly level uh, um, if you put um, vertical speed zero that's why i put vertical speed plus 100 to force the aircraft to fly level eventually it will it, it does start to climb but that will take a while usually it will just fly level if you do that there's via zero again we are approaching 250 knots so we can continue uh, our descent you see me pointing here at the display because i'm doing flight instruction okay so let's move on so next next altitude calculation will be at 30 miles so 30 times 3 is 9000 feet we're doing 250 knots so we should fly 2000 feet lower so we should be at 7000 feet when we pass 30 miles so let's skip ahead a little bit so 32 miles 31 so knowing that we should be at 7000 feet at 30 miles we can already see that we are too high and when we are exactly at 30 miles then you can see exactly how much too high we are and so that there we go so 30 miles we should be at 7,000 feet so we are still 1,500 feet too high now at this moment we cannot increase the speed and uh, in open descent because of the speed limitation and uh, so the only way to solve that now is using the speed brake so there you go we apply the speed brake and that will create some drag which uh, will take some time to solve the problem but eventually we will get back on profile 
Okay, preparing our next altitude calculation. Next profile calculation will be at 20 miles. So at 20 miles, the distance, the speed which we'll be doing um, may or may not be 250 knots. Okay, so let's wait a while and see what happens. Okay, so at the moment we are applying the speed brake and as we are uh, slowing down, okay, now we're not slowing down yet. So there we're approaching a, a, a altitude. Okay, we're setting 3000 feet for the next altitude. And let's see what's happening next. Okay, so okay, so now we're going to uh, start slowing down because at 5,000 feet we want to start slowing down to green knot speed. Now there is one issue here though, because we are applying the speed brake. If we start to slow down to green knot speed, we will enter the uh, VLS uh, speed area here on the speed tape. Now you don't want to fly below VLS uh, because the aircraft will start to add power and we don't want that if you are above profile. So the way to solve that is to apply uh, flap one. Now a common mistake is that as you uh, select flap one that you start to slow down to S speed, but if you are above profile, you don't want to do that because that will make the situation worse. So let's see how we solve this. So we got still the speed brake selected and we're slowing down to a green knot speed. And we are waiting uh, for the speed to be a uh, reasonable uh, amount below a VFV next. So we don't overspeed the flaps, about five or 10 knots or so. So here, so then we're going to ask for flap one and select the speed. So there you have it. So there's flap one and then select the speed to prevent the, the, the speed from reducing and thereby making, uh, putting the aircraft even more above the profile. So when selecting the flaps, there's only two reasons you want to do that. One is you want to slow down the aircraft and the other reason is to get rid of VLS. So in this case, we get rid of VLS and we do not want to slow down. So that's why we select the speed at our current speed. That's slightly below uh, VMAX. Okay, still the speed brake selected. So the next uh, profile calculation we want to do, or we can go a little bit back to see how high we should have been at 20 miles. So, at 20, so here we're 21 miles, so at 20 miles, we are doing green knot speed. So 20 times three is 6,000 feet. And because we're doing uh, green knot speed or, or almost uh, at 20 miles would be about green knot speed. We have to fly um, 1,000 feet lower. So 6,000 feet minus 1,000 feet is far. Uh, 5,000 feet, so we can uh, see that we are uh, getting back on profile. Okay, we're not quite green dot, so, uh, so there's 20 miles. Okay, so that's good. So we can uh, get, yeah, okay, we can get rid of the speed brake soon. Okay, let me uh, skip ahead a little bit further because there we have to get rid of the speed brake. Next altitude selection, uh, altitude uh, calculation we should do at um, uh, 15 miles. So 15 uh, times three. Just remember what the answer is. That is uh, 4,500 feet, but that, that doesn't take into account the speed. So that's basically the glide slope. If you're at 50, 15 miles at 4,500 feet, you are on the glide slope. So you want to be slightly below if you're not at S speed. And uh, so we still have green speed. So uh, we should be at, um, at 3,500 feet. So that, that uh, seems to be uh, about right. So we're at 18 miles now. Uh, slowing down to uh, S speed because we are uh, we, we we got rid of the speed brakes so now we we can start to slow down to S speed. Okay, let me skip ahead a bit. So there is uh, 15 miles right here, and we are at 3,500 feet. So that's exactly on profile. Okay, now we're using uh, vertical speed at the moment because uh, we want to slow down. And so at the moment we have uh, two ways uh, to uh, intercept the approach. You either fly level at 3000 feet above the ground or uh, and then um, at when you are one, uh, one dot below the glide slope you select flap 2 or uh, you keep it at one dot below the glide slope and keep um, descending. But because the glide slope here is not valid because we are too far away from the localizer, we cannot use the method to, st to stay one dot below the glide slope. So it's better here to uh, let the aircraft fly, fly level a little bit at 3000 feet and then once the uh, glide slope comes in at uh, one dot, then we can select flap two. Okay, 
So let me skip ahead a bit more. So there we have 3000 feet, alt star. And so the glide slope becomes uh, more valid now. Again, it starts to move up because we are not quite on the localizer. Okay, so now we're on the localizer where the localizer is live. So the glide slope should be uh, should be correct now at this moment. So now we're just waiting for uh, one dot below uh, the glide slope and then we're going to select flap two. So there we got uh, one dot below the glide slope. We ask for flap two, there you go. And we just let the aircraft, um, it will balloon a little bit and it will go into glide slope star and the speed will reduce. And this is uh, an ideal situation you want to be in. Okay, so next we want to uh, um, lower the gear depending on the, the, the speed we're doing. So if the speed is on the, on the high side, so from the middle upward, um, we want to select the gear at 2500 feet. And if the speed is on the low side, so from the middle downward here, we want to select the gear uh, at 2000 feet. Now we have a little bit of a tailwind here and so the speed is also uh, well it's in the middle you could say so you can choose if you would lower the gear 2500 feet or 2000 but since we have a, a bit of a tailwind it's better to lower the gear now at 2500 feet and that uh, that should uh, put the aircraft um, make the aircraft stable at about a thousand feet quite easily now if um, if you're fast and especially with the tailwind you don't want to delay selecting flaps so just uh, as soon as the gear is down, uh, ask for uh, flap 3 and then flap full to create a bit uh, additional drag. And um, okay, let me skip it again. So that's flap 3 and flap full. And now we're, we're waiting for the speed to be stable. Depending on your company procedures, you might have to be stable in, um, at a thousand feet if you're at night. Uh, or uh, IMC. So we're looking for, I can't remember if this approach were a visual or not, but um, we want to be stable. It's best to be stable at 50 on that feet to give yourself a little bit margin. So there we go. We got, uh, we fully configured at 50 on the feet, uh, speed is stable. So we have a stable approach. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider buying my book Practical Descent Energy Management. It contains loads of examples of how to manage a descent and approach, and it is the only book available on this subject. There is a paperback and an ebook version available. You can find a link in the description below.